I'm Robin DuPont. Uh, I'm a potter. I make a, a range of different forms. I fire atmospherically, which means that I use flame to surface the, the forms that I put in the kiln. I went into art school thinking I'd be a painter or a sculptor. I took ceramics as a elective and you know I walked into one of the first days of, of one of the introductory classes and I'll never forget that the instructor was, was making coffee in a craft that he had made and I saw him pouring hot water into, into the top of it and asked him what he was doing and realized thereafter that he was making coffee. It was a kind of a light bulb moment in the sense that that was the moment that I realized, wow, our, our art can be participatory, it could be used, it could be enjoyed physically as well as intellectually. The technician at grad school is a, a well-established brewer and, and so we started brewing together and I realized that, that I didn't really like drinking beer out of ceramic cups and so sort of as an investigation I set out to design a ceramic cup that I would enjoy drinking beer out of. The tumblers I have um, as part of the piece, they kind of epitomize this idea of thinking about the way that someone picks something up and explores it. How I didn't really want someone to pick this cup up initially and just find that sweet spot. I wanted someone to, to pick it up and, and be encouraged to explore. When I'm putting these dimples in, sometimes I'm actually thinking like, oh, where would be a place where a hand would naturally go and can I set that dimple just off there to encourage that hand not to find rest there, but to kind of move, keep moving, looking for that sweet spot. I'm interested in how people's perceptions shift when, when the work is all of a sudden put in a gallery and the conventions are, are not to touch it trying to come up with different ways that, that I can encourage the audience to get the work off the wall and actually touch it and experience it, put it to their lips, maybe lick it. <laughs> Sometimes I find myself having to, to set my ego aside or step back and remind myself that, that essentially I'm collaborating with a bouquet of flowers or with food or with espresso and and that that's the final destination of, of like what what I'm making I love that dialogue of, of the work getting out into the real world and then you you learn something it comes back and it's like oh 